Hello, I'm Chad and I'm with Southern Wildlife Management. Today we will be discussing the brown rat or Norway rat. Uh, most homeowners in the south are unfamiliar with this particular rodent because they seem to be secluded for the most part up north, but they are making their way down here. We are feeling their presence more and more. They usually harbor around transportation areas such as docks and the railroad tracks because of these mass transit zones from north to the south, it's the easiest way for them to get down here. Uh, they are not as good of climbers as the black rat because they are much thicker, much sturdier. Uh, they will tunnel, however. Now, in terms of them you know, being a, a nuisance to homeowners, not as common because of that inability to climb. Uh, black rats present more of an issue because they can get into our attics and they can tunnel as well. But Norway strictly tunneling uh, you'll often see them uh, in apartment complexes, for example, near food and water. So typically the trash areas uh, and the streams or the sewer systems. Now they are non-indigenous, however they have spread over most of the planet, making them the second most successful uh, mammal in this world other than humans. Uh, now the issue with Norway's uh, getting rid of them. Now, once you happen to exterminate a significant portion of the Norway population, they ramp up their breeding habits to restore their numbers. Now, what that means is a Norway, as it is, can have up to five litters per year, with seven to 14 per litter. Somewhere in between there is going to be the average. So that means that can be up to 35 to 70 young per year, and it only takes them five weeks to get to a breeding age. So you can see why they can present quite a problem. Uh, and also when it comes to the methods to exterminate these things, one cannot rely on just bait systems or traps. You need to alternate. These are intelligent creatures. They learn socially. The parents will actually educate the young um, as two potential threats. So as soon as they see one in a trap, they, the, the adults, the alpha male and female, will chase the younger ones away as soon as you know, the stress, the pain, the, whatever the suffering is at that moment um, is understood. And they communicate through subsonic frequencies that we can't even hear, which convey a lot. Um, so they are very tenacious, very difficult to get rid of once they have a presence that is rooted. So you really want to capitalize and get on these things early if you have a particular piece of property that they're trying to inhabit. 